my bathroom? Uh, sorry, the shower wasn't working in my bathroom. What is the smell of flatbread and egg in the whole bedroom? What is all of this, Aiden? Uh, I just felt like eating. Uh, if you like eating, you could have eaten in the dining room. Who does the breakfast in the bedroom? Besides, you look so unfit to me, and then such an unhealthy breakfast. What if I don't go out with you anymore after some days? Ah, yes, madam. As it is, I don't look good with you. There's a lot of difference between you and me. Relax, I'm joking. You take everything seriously. Okay, Mrs. Naomi has invited me on a brunch today, so what should I wear? Blue or peach? <laughs> What's there to laugh about? You never like my choice. Are you sure? It's not like that. It was your choice, right? So tell me, blue or peach? Hmm, I like the peach. <laughs> I'll wear blue. Ha! I knew it! Okay, now tell someone from the staff to clean the bathroom. The entire bathroom is wet! Uh, don't you know how to take a shower? Okay, let me ask them. Calm down. How many times have I told you? It's good that I have separated your bathroom. Otherwise, both of us would have fought daily and you would have said, Faith, you get so angry. How can I not be angry? I mean, a wet bathroom? Seriously? Please send someone. It's obvious for me to get angry if you will do such things. Thank you. I am also a human. Until when do you think I can tolerate this? Where are my things? I don't find anything if my mood gets bad early morning. Everything goes blank. <sighs> Why are you ruining your mood? Tomorrow is a very important day for us. And I've got something very special for you. Just for you, my love. I just want you to be happy, okay? <sighs> Fine. I'm going to the office. See you in the evening. Okay, listen, please light the candle as you know I feel nauseous by the smell of eggs and flatbread. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder what'll happen to you. It's just me who's tolerating you. No other girl can think of it. <sighs> okay. my son. Hey, Mom. How's my mom? How are you, my son? I'm all good. What's wrong? Did you not eat properly? Oh, you look so weak. Mom, for your kind information, I'm getting fat. Why won't I eat properly? All day, you send the food to my office, Mom. See? I've got you so many servants, as in your age, to rest. But no. You want to stand in the kitchen for an entire day and cook food. Honey, you know I have work. Either watch TV or just rest inside the room. Mom, I can taste and tell that it's cooked by you very well. Uh, one minute. Hello? Love? Where are you? Uh, I came to meet Mom. <sighs> Come on, Aiden. Is it just my anniversary, not yours? And then the event manager isn't working properly. Just now, he just shared the pictures. The setup is so bad. Please go and handle him. Also, tell him to follow the guidelines given to him. Okay, I'm going. No, Aiden. You have to leave right now. I will get so pissed off if I get the same setup upon my arrival. Please, don't give me stress at the last moment. And your mom? Where is she going? She is at home, right? You can meet her tomorrow. Don't worry, I'll leave in a bit. Calm down, okay? Okay, listen, you haven't invited your mom, right? Please don't invite her. You know how she feels uncomfortable in such types of gatherings, and then she does inappropriate acts and makes me feel embarrassed. Are you getting me? I'm getting everything, Faith. Don't worry. Okay, please go and handle the event manager. I'm feeling so furious right now. I'm going. Everything will be done as per your choice. Bye. Okay, Mom. I'm leaving. Where are you going? You just came back. Is everything all right? I made you your favorite pie. You should have some of it. No, Mom. Already, Faith is saying that I'm getting fat. So, this one. 
Absolutely not. No, not at all. Not all of her words are the final verdict, sweetheart. Faith is saying this. She's saying that it seems as if you will spend your entire life making her happy. Mom, what shall I do if I don't make her happy? I'm leaving as I have to do the preparations for the dinner. At home. Actually, you don't know all, Mom. Actually, we have invited Faith's new guests. I would have invited you, but you'll get bored, as you don't know anyone, okay? Okay, dear. I understand. I'm leaving now. Bye. Happy wedding anniversary, my son. May God bless your marriage with Faith. Hi, Eddie. Hello, hi! Meet my sister, Stella. Hello, Stella. How are you? I'm good. How are you? So, is the dress ready? Shall I try? It's ready. Take out Faith and Madame's dresses. Give it to her. Also, order her favorite coffee. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You know I always put my heart and soul into your designs. I know that. Have you designed something new? Oh, yes! There are a few shirts of Bohemian style by Mrs. London. Let me show you- Oh, come on. I don't like it, Cuts. Never show that to me. Show me if something is new. Stella, do you like something? Uh, no, sis. I was just passing time. You know I already bought a dress for your event. Come on, try to live your dream sometimes. And I want my little sister to look her best on my wedding anniversary. Thank you so much, sis, but I can't take it. It's very expensive. I will pay for it. Buy whichever you like. Whichever dress ma'am likes, pack it. Done! And what kind of outfit for Aiden did you just send me? I said I don't like it like this. If he wears this, how can anyone think he's my husband? Ah, uh, okay, don't worry. Let me send a few more designs until tonight, so you can have a look. Okay, fine. Let me go and try the dress. Go help out my sister. Sure thing. Thank you so much for the dress, sis. To be honest, I hardly do any expenses on my casual or formal clothes since you're always the one paying for them. Sometimes I don't even need to give them a laundry. <laughs> it's a good thing that you take it. Otherwise, what do I have to do? Either I'll throw it away or I'll give it to the maid. You really shouldn't have moved out the house, Stella. You had a whole chance to be treated like a princess. <sighs> Why are you bringing back the past here, Faith? You know I had my own reasons. It wasn't easy for me. As her stepsister to live in your house after my mom passed away, I was hardly managing myself with you guys. But I'm happy and contented with my own life. Or you can just say you just can't afford to live with us. But anyways, what was I saying? <sighs> Mrs. Naomi, that day she was praising me a lot. And as soon as I got there, she accidentally spilled a hot cup of coffee on my clothes. Just imagine, my entire dress was ruined. <laughs> it's your fault. You look so beautiful in every dress, and when you give your advices on corporate issues, everyone is amazed. You're a deadly combination of beauty with brain, sis. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Come on, don't embarrass me like that. I just wanted to look perfect tomorrow. I'm feeling so stressed. Trust me, sis. You don't need to look perfect. You always look perfect, and Aiden likes you in every way. <sighs> I want to look good for myself, not to someone else. And besides, he likes me in every way. He says that even if my weight increased to 200 pounds, he'd still love me in the same manner. But then I said, won't I shoot myself after my weight increases to 200 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's get inside the car. It is way too hot outside. It's going to burn my perfect glass skin. Stella, are you crazy? Are you wearing your old shoes with a new dress? 
No, you have to listen to whatever I say, got it? You just have to stay ready. Okay, I'll talk to you later, bye. Hi. Do you want to say something? Say it. I have brought a gift for you. <laughs> then give it. Nah, not like this. Sit over there. Um, then what did you get? Go sit, please, Faith. Uh, if you say so, then let's see what gift you've brought. Thank you. So, this is for my wife. A beautiful diamond necklace. Wow, very nice. How do you find my choice? Since how many years have we been married? Hmm, two. Hmm, two years. Don't you understand until today what I like and what not? I know your choice as well as your temperament. But hey, guess what? Look, you say that you're so special. Whether it is birthdays, anniversaries, or any special occasions, people start giving you gifts one night before the occasion. That's why one night before our anniversary, I gifted this necklace to you, but don't worry. I'll give you the real gift on the night of our anniversary, and it is very special. <sighs> wow, I'm impressed. Really? Anyway, it's good after all. You got impressed by me. In fact, no. I think this is the second time you got impressed from me. Really? When was the first time? Hmm, probably at the time when you said yes to marry me. At that time, you must have been impressed by any quality of mine for sure, right? Tell me about it, that which quality you had liked in me. Hmm, well, your lowered eyes. I thought that you were the guy who would support me in every decision. Also, he'd make every kind of compromise for me. Do you know that? My brother used to think that I could never stay happily married to anyone and that no man could live with me, but today, it's been two years to our marriage. You made every kind of compromise for me. Also, you accepted my every good and bad habit. I'm happy. <laughs> Anything for you. <laughs> okay, now close the lights. I want to get my beauty sleep. Good night. I love you. wonderful day at the university. I'm really getting into my studies. That's my girl. You've always been a dedicated student, Alex. Surprise! <gasps> oh, Jace? Oh, <laughs> you didn't tell me you were coming back! That's because surprises are so much more fun, sis. It's good to have you back, son. So you decided to grace us with your presence after months in the UK. Yep, missed me, huh? Well, maybe just a little. <laughs> All right, you two. No sibling squabbles. Jace just got home. Yeah, yeah, welcome back, bro. Thanks, sis. Mr. Sarcasm, too. <sighs> you two have grown up so quickly. Dad, are you feeling old? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just say I'm looking forward to some peace and quiet now that Jace is back. Ouch, Dad. That hurts. So what's the plan now that you're back, Mr. World Traveler? Actually, I was thinking about sticking around for a while. Maybe even helping Dad with the business. That's quite the change of art, Jace. Well, I realize that family's more important than jet-setting around the world. Oh my, who are you and what have you done with my brother? <laughs> Very funny, Alex. It warms my heart to have you both here. Family is the most important thing in the world. Well, bro, welcome back to the family drama and my endless sarcasm. Wouldn't have it any other way, sis. Also, you came at the perfect time, son. Me and Alexandra are both attending my best friend's daughter's anniversary party tonight. You should totally come with us. Uh... No, I'll just pass, Dad. I'm so tired already. What? No! You have to come with us! Please, brother! For me? 
Alexandra, I... I'm sure Mr. Ez will be happy to see you there. Hmm. All right, then. I'll see what I can do. Yay! <laughs> I want lilies! I don't know, arrange them from anywhere. I want lilies on the table. Ugh. At least they shouldn't give me stress today. Why are you taking so much stress? If lilies are not available, then we can take white roses too. What's the big deal? Please don't behave like that, Aiden. You know I want everything unique and perfect. A lot of my friends are invited there. Ma'am, would you like some coffee? Yes, black coffee. Ma'am, would you like some coffee? Yes, cappuccino with two spoons of sugar. Two spoons? Are you crazy? Look at your skin! How much weight have you put on in the last two years? Sugar is poison! Just leave it. I don't know about sugar, but your words seem to be poison for sure. <sighs> Sorry, Stella, but you know how I feel so irritated if I see someone eating unhealthy. Then you shall also eat something unhealthy. It doesn't matter. We only live once, sis. Come on! Now don't convince me to eat unhealthy. No, sis. I'm not convincing you for anything. All I'm trying to say is, everyone has their own choices. Their own life, and if you are happy with your choices, good for you. You know I say this for your benefit, but you are way overreacting just for some sugar. <sighs> Who else was left to be called? Hi, Sarah! Have you invited all the bloggers? <laughs> good! I want my anniversary trending on social media. Great! Dad, you're late. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my love. Happy wedding anniversary. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. <laughs> you're always looking so beautiful, but today you look completely magnificent. Anyways, here, your anniversary gift. Oh my gosh! Dad, how did you know to get that? You are a piece of my heart. I wish to fulfill your every wish like this. Aw, thank you so much, Dad. You're the best dad ever. <laughs> Anyways, um, where's Stella? I don't see her anywhere. Did you invite her to the party or not? Ugh, she's late again, isn't she? Of course I've invited her. After all, she's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Then she should be here any minute. Even your husband Aiden is missing. Where is he? Oh, don't worry, Dad. He told me yesterday that he got something very big to surprise me with, so of course he's going to take his sweet time. <laughs> Aw, that's sweet. I'm honestly really happy to see you so ahead in your life, my dear. It was something I feared the most, but you made all of my fears fade away. Daddy is so proud of you. Anyways, I should welcome the other guests now. See you around. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, look at you! You're looking absolutely phenomenal! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you so much for coming. Congratulations, Faith Fez. Oh my god! Jace, what a surprise! But you had gone to the UK. How come you came back so early? Yes, I had gone to have dinner at Gordon Ramsay. So I came back after having dinner. <laughs> Very funny. No, no, I'm serious. I think a person shall only do whatever gives them happiness. As they say, there's no accounting for the taste. Hmm, at least someone is there who thinks a bit like me. You know, I would have killed you if you wouldn't have come today. <laughs> Anyways, I'm here, but where is your husband? <sighs> I don't know what kind of surprise he's planning for me. Let me call him. Give me a sec. Dear, there's a surprise for you. I want you to see the surprise first, before I show up. I hope you like it. Happy wedding anniversary from your one and only, Aiden Malik. <laughs> this sure must be from my husband. He likes a lot to give me surprises.
This can't be... Uh, oh my my... <gasps> I can't believe it! What is all of this, Dad? It's not a joke! Call him! Stop all of this! Don't you understand? I said stop it! Don't you understand? Turn off all the cameras! Dad, call him right now! I want him to be here right now! Just take a side, please. Come with me, Faith. I want him to be here right now! Call him, Jace! Why are you taking me away? Just leave me once! I will kill him! How dare he do this to me? What is this behavior? Just relax. What are you doing? Please relax. Be sensible, please. Bring water. How could he do this to me? How could anyone do this? If he came in front of me once, I will strangle him and kill him! Please relax. You need to calm down. Drink water. Please, calm down. I don't need anything! I got divorced! I have become a joke in front of everyone and you're asking me to calm down? How can I calm down? <sighs> Faye, go get lost! Get lost, everyone! I don't want to see anyone! <laughs> Faith is calling you. It's obvious that she will call. No need to worry. I know my sister. She will ruin the lives of both of us. I know Faith as well. In fact, only I know her. I spent four years with that woman. You only spent four years, but I know her since childhood. She's my stepsister. When she will find out that we are married, she will kill me for sure. Listen to me, Stella. Now that we have decided, we will figure it out. to divorce me. I had lifted him from the earth and placed him in the sky, but he did this to me. Why did he do that? D divorce? He can't do that. This has happened. He has done that. He has done this to me. To me. To the one and only Faith Ez. I will definitely find him. If I found out that he won't leave him, I will kill him. Aiden? Aiden, come out! I know you're inside the house! Why are you making the noise? How dare you divorce me? Who are you to divorce me? Do you know who you were? How I had changed your status? How dare you? Behave yourself. Have you looked at yourself? I have! Do you know who I am? Faith! I am the one and only Faith Ez, and you are forgetting your worth. Faith! Nobody can ever love you in your life. Your marriage will never, ever be successful because you can never consider anyone as your husband. Even if you get married 10 times, still, you'll be divorced 10 times. F Faith. I am crazy. So what, huh? What are you going to do about it? Stop it, Faith. Let me talk to him for a minute. What is this behavior? How dare you treat my daughter like this? Have you seen your daughter's actions? She is clinically insane. I'll kill you! Aiden, are you okay? What are you doing in this house? What is the drama? What is going on here? Faith, she is my wife. I suggest you to leave. 
Please take her away. You little piece of- uh, Stop the nonsense, Faith! Sir, she has lost her mind! Please take her away before anything happens! Please take her away! I will strangle them to death! Both of them! Faith, that's- That's enough. Not anymore. Let's just go, dear. Dad, I won't spare him! What does he think he is? He doesn't know who I am. I will drag him to court. I promise you I will make the life of you both a living hell! Both of you don't know that with whom you had messed with. <laughs> I can't believe I ruined my sister's life. After all she has done for me, she's never going to leave us. She's going to get us killed. <laughs> this can't happen! Hey, hey! It's going to be all good. Trust me, I'm here for you. I do. I do. You know that I love you, and this marriage was nothing but a contract wedding. I'll come back for you. <laughs>